Hello guys, let's see what's going to be included in your linear parking uh, Revit family package. So this is one of the file you're going to get uh, with your package where it will show you all uh, like the Revit family in the course detail level graphic. Then you're going to see detail level uh, in the medium or fine level graphic. And then there is a parking schedule. Uh, on total parking count and then one 3d view so so and it's all saved inside this sheet here uh, at a101 and if we're going in depth on what's included in this package uh, i can zoom into this course detail level graphic which will show you all of the included parking types then uh, uh parking island types there is on the top there is one with the individual parking island types and then you have nested parking island types and then similarly to the uh, parking island types you have parking island stripes version uh, again, same uh, like our individual parking stripe island types and nested parking stripe island types. And uh, as a bonus, you're going to get two different family versions with this one. Uh, there is one traffic arrow sign family, like a opposite direction signs and two curve and gutter families. So these are just uh, like a two sample families are included in this package. If you want to have like a whole range of traffic arrows or side curb families, you can purchase them separately from our website. Okay, so let's see uh, in detail how these families work and we can start, we can like try to draw uh, most of the family here uh, and I can show you different options they include so let's let's get started on this one okay so let's say uh you want to draw a parallel parking so these parking stall families they are all line based families so behavior wise they will work pretty similarly uh, either you draw a parallel parking or you draw uh, angle parking or you draw like a, a staggered version of them or a herringbone all these parking styles they will work pretty similar and then uh, you can mix and match or combine them to create such uh, variation like like these here they are created with three different families so one is the ada with a uh, mirrored version on the top and then this is a double uh, 90 degree angle parking okay so let's say you want to draw uh, angle parking so when you get into the fa you select the family you want to draw you want to make sure you place on work plane that's what i typically use but you can also use place on face if you want to do that but for this exercise i'm gonna keep place on work plane it will keep on my level one and here in the properties like our instance properties you can see total parking count as we draw these parking you're going to see total parking count then you can select different stripe types uh, you can see here we have three different styles one is the straight line one is the double like a edge with the curve uh, straight line then double with the curve at the end then you can specify the angle you can technically uh, have any angle you want between 0 to 90s and then you can uh, there are option of show or hide first stripe last stripe rear stripe you can hide show or hide wheel stop or stall annotation so okay so to start with the drawing parking families, all you have to do is click for, for the first point and then click for the second point. 
<clears throat> and it will start drawing so like like we we draw with any line based revit family you drag one point and it will create an array of these parking stalls keep stretching this point and it will keep drawing uh, how, how many numbers of parking stall you want and you can see the total parking count it automatically get updated and here you can change it to different line styles and then parking angle then you can hide the first stripe or last stripe or rear stripe and then you can hide the wheel stop and stall annotations so it will still work as you want i'm gonna turn on my wheel stop okay so this was like a regular parking stalls now let's see how the ADA will work. Okay, same way like we have drawn the normal parking stalls, this ADA will also work similarly. You stretch the point and it will keep drawing the number of ADA parkings. If you want three, you stretch the point to three, it will update the stripes automatically based on uh, how many how much like or how many parameters you have added and how much you want to go further okay so this way you can have your ada parking and there is an option where you can i have created three different versions of them you can adjust the stripe width or you can also change the or you can swap between ada and ev and same way like the regular parking you can specify the angle you want and it will update the family based on what you have selected okay. so So this version is similar to the angle version we drawn, except this is a perpendicular to your stalls so that when you draw them side by side like this, they will work. And now if you want to draw double loaded version, all you have to do is again stretch the points, it will draw all your parking stalls and you can specify the angle you want but this one have an option to show staggered so it can stagger your parking stalls and next parking type is the herringbone parking type so again both have regular and ada version or ev version you can start with the regular version like we have done for the previous ones one point and second point it will draw all of the parking for you update the total count it will always be 45 because of the heading bone you can still hide first and the last stripe wheel stop and all other options similar to the uh, previous stalls we have seen Okay, so these were, so you, you're going to include uh, parallel parking stalls with ADA and EV. You're going to get uh, regular angled parking stalls, then angled parking stall with perpendicular rear stripe, then staggered version or double loaded back-to-back uh, -back version of parking, then herringbone.
and you can combine mix and match all these parking uh, stall families to create different versions of parking you want so moving forward we can see uh, this is the island types so with this package you're gonna get uh, individual parking island types like one linear then continuous around the parking stall angle then this one is for the double loaded but with one staggered version at the angle this one is at the angle but perpendicular and this one is for the heading board but these are all the individual island types so that you can use them individually the cool part about these families is that you can control them just by entering the parking angle parking stall width or length and they will update their height based off just those three parameters and you can have an option to adjust your side offsets like if i want to change the side offset i can do that i can change the side radius based on how i want to lay these bad uh, parking families and this is like pretty consistent across everywhere in your island so those were individual parking types island types and now we're going to look at the nested parking island type so these nested versions are line based basically you can just draw like the parking stalls we have drawn before it's line based i can show you oops sorry I can show you how they work. So you select the family you want to draw. Come here, you start with one point. Sorry, man. Okay. And now come here and draw the second point and it will draw a parking island for you same way all of these are family uh, nested family types and you can adjust all your side like a side offsets or radius same for this one and along with the uh, parking island families you also have an uh, parking stripe versions all these islands are stripe so you can just change the angle or side offset or any other parameters and it will update and it will have a consistent graphic across your project So this was a detailed view, like a medium or detail, fine detail view. If you go to the course, you can see they turn into a line based for more faster graphics. And you can change object style, colors, everything from the options. But here you can see how well uh, graphically they can appear. And the stripe version in the course view type and with this version you're going also going to get parking stripe oh sorry parking uh, tags so these tags you have three options uh, oh, okay I think I don't have I loaded that inside I'm just gonna load my parking tag family okay okay with this you're gonna get three options either mark only total parking count or type mark so you can switch between these three I have total parking count mentioned here so that's why this parking tag it's counting my total parking stall count
and to demonstrate how well these arrow family work uh, let's say you have a 30 feet street or 30 feet street and you want to draw these arrows you can start drawing in between and you can adjust the width of this traffic with your street so that they can be centered in between your uh, street and this is just one version i have included in this package but if you want like a full-fledged different arrow styles and directions you can download uh, the package from our website and same goes for the curb and gutter family sorry so here you can see i have included these two gutter or curb type families these are railing based so when you draw them i can show you quickly railing line based Okay, and I'm going to host these on this topography here. So as you can see, this railing based family is now hosted on this topography. And you can swap between different types. And when your topography gets updated, let's say these families will also get updated it will follow your site topography again you can purchase these families from our website but I have just included basic two families in this package. So I'm just quickly going to show you all these uh, family types you're going to be get, getting with this package. Okay, I think that's all for this package. But if you have any other questions, you can ask us on the YouTube channel or you can email us.